So in the comments for basic video with ProPresenter 5 by Renewed Vision, the video I have here on YouTube, down here, Jonathan had a question. Here, let me see if I can't highlight that. There we go. Nice video. I have a bunch of music videos that I want to play after the service. How do I make the video play one after the other automatically? Thanks. Well, Jonathan, it's actually not all that difficult here. Let's head on over to ProPresenter 5, and I'll show you what I've already done. I have gone ahead and I have uh, created this slideshow right here where we've just got these four stills. Now, these could be video clips instead of stills, but you'll notice that right here I have set this to five seconds. Depending on the resolution you're watching this at, you may or may not be able to see that. Uh, here, let me change that to... <clears throat> do, 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 scribble. Okay, so... So, five seconds. You'll see right there. And this icon over here, which is on all of them, is a little clock icon. You'll also notice this little icon right here. That little icon right there indicates that after this slide, it goes back to the beginning. Now, you'll notice that there's a picture of me over here. That's what I look like. I don't always wear a, a coat and button-down shirt, but for that video, I did. And you'll notice that it's skipping that because this says, okay, go back to the first slide. So that's one little additional tip. If you've got some stuff that you want playing in one slideshow and not another, sometimes you can put it after that and then just keep that in mind. So anyway, what I have gone ahead and done is I went ahead and created this slideshow as I mentioned and I added a foreground video now again if we look at the this icon right here that is the foreground video icon and this is the background video icon that's important for you to notice here and I'll show you why here in just a second so for I've got a foreground video, which you can see down here in the foregrounds video, and that has a, if I go down to go to next timer, I could set that for whatever I want. But notice here, this is very important. Here, let me point that out. This, at least from ProPresenter 3 on, was always the case, but I never understood why it did what it did. But here it tells us, in the case of foreground videos, this is the amount of time the last frame of the video will be displayed. So that's very important. So if you wanted it to hang for five seconds, you could just uh, change that to five or uh, whatever, or if you wanted to leave it on zero, which is how I have left it, that's probably what you'll generally want to do. So as soon as the video finishes, it will go on to the, uh, the next item. So let's see what happens. Um, I've already muted this, so you won't be hearing me talk on top of me, which would be very annoying. Um, so I'm going to put this in the loop, and so it should... Um, here. Let's go right there, and it should start playing here in just a second. And this is 3 minutes and 45 seconds. It's actually a promo for a Creating Church class that I'm going to be doing online. So I'll fast forward this a little bit further, 
and we'll see here in about 15 seconds. I expect that it's going to go to this blue background over here. So let's see if it does in fact do that in 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it did. Okay. And so you can mix and match stills with video or do all video if you want. Now, one thing that you should not do is don't put the videos by themselves, foreground video again, over like this. Because as far as I've been able to figure out so far, there's no way to use that same function. Okay? So what we will do is we'll go back here, and I'm going to skip on over to that. And I want to show you a little other thing that, that's a mistake that you could make. So let me pull that out of the order here. And we will go to this. Okay. So you'll notice that I have it as a background. Down here it says backgrounds, and it's got the little background icon. If I drag it up here, let's say I put it in between the two. Here it looks like it's the same as it was. I will add the go to next timer and put it on for zero seconds, click off of it, and you would expect that it's going to do exactly what this one did. But did you see that? It hopped right past it. So, so that's very important for uh, you to notice. It has to be a foreground video in order for you to do that. If anyone else has any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, and I'm happy to get back to you on uh, any other tips and tricks you need for ProPresenter 5.